What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about five questions that will permanently push a guy away. Trust me because of the context of these questions. And again, I understand why you're asking them, but just because I understand and just because you think it's logical doesn't mean it's the right thing to do and I'm going to explain why, okay? So if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I gotta switch this around. God darn, man. Come on, professionals, baby. Right, that looks like that. Also, the bell notification. If you want my, uh, if you want my dance moves, uh, just notification bell lets you know when my videos are out right away. If you want to work with yours truly, links down in the description below. And if you want more information on these things, just go out, go over to my, uh, my website, elliescottcoaching.com. Again, link down in the description. Okay. So here's the thing. I, first off, I want, I want, I want to, I want to talk about this. There's no point in asking these questions. There's absolutely no point in asking these questions. Because while you think you're going to get validation, the only reason you're asking the questions is for validation. Okay? Great. Understand. I, I would agree with you on asking those questions if it wasn't for two things. Number one, it pushes the guy away because you're only, when you're looking for something serious, that's when you ask for these questions. Which is fine. I understand. But don't ask them in the beginning. And that's number one. Number two, there's no point in asking the questions because guess what? He... He, he can lie to you. He can lie to you. Or I should, hey, do you guys remember that video I made a long time ago where I should do some, some ASMR or something? Hey, what's up, ladies? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. So I should be doing some of that stuff. I don't know why I don't. Some kinky stuff. But he can lie to you, right? He can lie to you. So no matter what you ask, he can lie, right? I know. I, 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 you get that? You get what I'm saying there? You get, hey, right? Hey, just in case you don't know, yeah, right there. Lie. It's pretty blue. That's a... It's a pretty ass blue. But he can lie to you, so what's the point of asking him? Which is why I always say there's no reason to ask in very nice handwriting. Okay, I say you need to focus on the foundation. If you, if you want to know what you're looking for, okay, if you want to know where it's going, if you want to know if you're wasting your time, if you want to know if all he wanted was sex, right? I, mean, I can understand that one, but most of the time just focus on the foundation. I tell women that you can't Attraction doesn't always build to a relationship, but you can't have a relationship without attraction. You gotta focus on attraction. You gotta focus on making the guy see you as something more than just a number or another girl that he met on Tinder. There has to be depth, okay? So I don't care. So when you ask these questions, that's actually pushing you this way when you want to go that way. These questions are questions women only ask when they're seeking validation, they're insecure, they're, they're afraid of losing the guy, fear, fear of losing the guy, you know. Uh, they're wanting the relationship and stuff like that, which again, I understand why you want the relationship for validation purposes and for what it means from a social constructionist um, perspective. You both understand, okay, relationship means exclusive, relationship means monogamous, relationship means just you and me, relationship's more of a tied down kind of thing, okay? The exact reason why you want it is the exact reason why he doesn't want it in the beginning, okay? I understand why you're asking for it. However, these questions in the beginning, within the first eight weeks, should not be said, right? This should be like the, like, I don't know if you guys know, Beetle, Beetlejuice, right? You should not be saying these things. It's like his name. You should not be saying Beetlejuice. You should not be talking about these things, okay? So the question is basically, what are you looking for? Don't ask him that. He can lie. Where is this going? He can lie. Usually guys beat around the bush with that question, okay? Uh, I should be putting some, uh, I might put it on my blog. Let me, let me know below uh, if you want me to give you a list of canned, canned lines that a guy uses for each of these because I used to use them all the time. It's actually not a joke, this is wrong. But uh, am I wasting my time? Again, he can bullshit you. It's all you wanted was sex. Again, he can bullshit you. And what are we? That's really where he's going to bullshit you, right? Because he, that's such an open-ended question. He can ask or he can go anywhere with it. You know, there's not really, a lot of these aren't really open. And they sound like open-ended questions, like what are you looking for? And I know he's going to say relationship, I'm not really looking for anything or, you know, whatever, play it by ear, whatever happens, happens, or I'm looking for the right girl, whatever, some bullshit. He's going to, but you know, you, you heard it before, so you kind of know where it's going. But like I said, for the most part, ladies, just focus on the foundation. Nothing else matters. He can lie. Again, I'm with you. I'm on your side. I'm on your side. 
right? I'm on your side with this. But I understand a guy's logical perspective doesn't mean he's right. He's going to bullshit on bullshit you on this. Because if he doesn't, you're gone. So just focus on building the attraction, okay? With that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Go to my go to my uh, my website, alexscottcoaching.com if you want more on this. Take care and subscribe and peace.